The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We are going to do something that I don't do very often. and That is, I'm going to take care of business first. Folks, something really big has happened. I don't know if you pay any attention to the open interest stuff, but I certainly do. I posted the open interest of what, uh, what as it was as of Monday. You'll notice that uh, we've lost a half a million contracts. Yes, I know you're going to say, well, that was a rollover from the June to September. No, boys and girls, those are players leaving the market. Let me take a look here where we were on Friday. Okay, just take a look. Bear with me here a little bit. Let's give the old cowboy a little bit of a break. By the way, the explosion yesterday was uh, they had some painters here in the area, and they had paint cans. Of course, I still think they use whatever solvent they use, probably still use turpentine. I don't know. But anyway, uh, one of the guys was smoking, and somehow it ignited something in the back of the truck, and boom, and it uh, took care of the truck. Nobody was interested, just a big, uh, big explosion and stuff. So... Everything's fine. Anyway, now take a look here. On Friday, you'll see we had an open interest of three million. It, w it was just a few days ago, three point two. So it's been dropping on this whole rally up. Now we've gone from three million to two and a half million open interest, folks. That means a half a million contracts have left the market. When the market goes up and a half a million people leave the market, that is not very bullish. I, I know you find that hard to believe because the market goes straight up, but that's neither here nor there. Now, I want to share a couple things. We've got a lot of things going on in Bitcoin today, and I think nothing is any more important than what our good friend Mr. Z sent out to everybody this morning. And it's you know over this really big time frame that Arch Crawford's talked about. Tim Boss has talked about, and also Norm Winsky has talked about. And you'll notice here on these equinoxes, this is Ethereum. And it shows uh, how this darn thing has held up uh, over this time period. Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, review something else that I need to talk about. And that, let's just get to the... Uh, Let's just get to the whole thing one here. All right, let's do the, uh, I want to show you this because this is what's happened so far today from my understanding, and I have not been involved with it. I understand that the Bitcoin went down to 28,500, which broke below the thing and is now trading above 31,000, folks. That's a $6,000 swing in a matter of hours. Uh, I, I don't know who had the courage uh, to come in and buy it, but uh, it certainly wasn't me. Anyway, those are some of the things that I'm watching as far as the action. The only reason I'm watching it because so many people are involved with that stuff. You know, that's pretty much it. That's uh, the way we look at it. Uh, I didn't even know they took stops in the in the uh, oh BTC. I guess that is a uh, yeah, that's a, an exchange one, so that's okay. Now. I'm not going to spend very much time on the Bitcoin because I know people aren't. I'm just going to spend time on the on the different patterns that are available, okay? Now, I'm going to say, share you two, one that uh, one of our friends over in Malaysia who is a is a Bitcoin or, let's say, cryptocurrency trader, uses the patterns to uh, – to find out when he want to be when he wants to be buying and selling and all I'm doing is is I'm posting these to show you what these patterns look like with these and all this is telling you is that the public is in the market look at this folks over the, this is since the uh, the 15th of the month you can see we had two beautiful sell Gartleys there at 360 and then another one at uh, at 345 they're perfect Gartleys and that's a 135 pattern by the way and you can see the three drive to a bottom pattern on the bottom so um, that's uh, that's what we're looking at. I don't know. I just got to give you your ten cents worth, and that's what we want to do. And if you like, I say many times, if you pay more than that, you've overpaid. Let's take a look at the Treasury bond market, folks, because we're getting close to uh, what we think maybe, with a little bit of luck, could be our first profit objective here. Uh, hope, oh, please tell me I did this right. Oh, tell me, no, 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 haven't got it. Ah, uh -huh. Larry has it. Ha uh ha! -huh. Don't. Never fear when the Italian is here. Hold on just a second. 
This is the treasury bond. You can see the ABCD up there at 163.05. The first objective on this comes in at 158.16. We're trading around 159.20 something right now. I think we'll get down uh, to that point. Uh, that would be a 61% retracement of the whole move back, and that's a, a big ABCD, and that's really what we're looking at that as we watch these things. Uh, someone asked a question about risk control and how I determine risk control. Folks, just about everything that I trade has a has a, a stop of somewhere between three and five hundred dollars. Okay, now. When you trade gold and when you trade crude oil, you've got to expand it a little bit. And the reason for that is, is because these markets, guess what? They cost more and their volatility is more in the crude oil. I mean, crude oil moves two and three thousand dollars a day up and down. We don't see that in the S&P anymore. We used to, but we don't. And that's why. And the gold is because it's so expensive. You're talking 100 ounces, right? At uh, $1,800 an ounce, you're talking $180,000 contract. You know, that's quite a bit, but the volatility on the gold is quite high. You got a quarter of a million dollars in the E-mini S&P, but the volatility isn't quite that big. So that's it. Nope. Pesavento is not German. By the way, the derivation of the word Pesavento means Pesa, which is large, and Vento means wind. Pesavento, large wind. Well, wow, that certainly couldn't be me. Not a chance. By the way, folks, I have to have to I was very proud of something. My my grandson who was at Stanford last year, and he didn't like going to the darn, uh, you know, the vi virtual uh, uh, classes and stuff like that, decided, and he, he's always wanted to be a comedian, and he's been practicing since he was about 15 years old. You know what he did? He went to the Big Apple. He went to New York City with his girlfriend, and they live in separate rooms, of course, in their apartment. But anyway, they, uh, he is doing – he he's really making a living as a stand-up comedian, and he's doing some stuff with animation, with uh, com comedy stuff for one of the uh, educational TV stations there. So he's he's going to be 21 pretty soon, and uh, I asked him, I said, are you going to go back to college? And he said, no, no. Uh, that's Italian for grandfather. He said, no, no. I was in college. He said, I'm learning a lot. And he said, I'm making some money and I'm living my dream. And I said, little Bubba, I said, you can't ask for anything more than that. He said, because that's what I did. If you can do something where you feel like you're not working, you're on a vacation for the rest of your life. That's the words of Confucius. And I hope the young man's going to do well. But he's a, he's a really smart boy. And uh, he's a good boy. He's, uh, he's a very good boy. All right. Now let's move over here. Can someone tell me, where is Bitcoin trading now? I heard it went down to 28,000, and now it popped up. Remember, we were looking for it to get to 22,500. That's the 80% correction you know, on the log chart. It's 32,300. What's well, that, a $5,000 move today? Shut the front door and raise the rent. You know, Mr. Z, you might have this thing uh, figured out here with this equinoxes. That's a big deal. Oh, well, holy moly, guacamole. All right, let's move on to a couple other things that we're paying attention to here. And one, of course, uh, is the gold market. Uh, we've had a, a little bit of rally here. I, I just showed you the one from yesterday. This uh, completed the pattern here today. Uh, we went up to the uh, 18. Last night, we hit the, the exact 78% level, 1791. And then we dropped down to 1775. We'll be, uh, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, we're talking a little bit about this, a little bit about that. Folks, pay attention to that open interest that I spoke about because that really is important. I mean, people might not think so, but it really, at least from my perspective, and again, that may, may or may not mean anything. Remember, folks, I'm going to bring this to your attention because this is really a key number, and this is what we're looking at here. This is the Dow Jones number from yesterday. Uh, that was the ABCD pattern. We've had a really strong rally. You can see this was early in the morning. I don't. I think we made it to the 50% level, as I recall, almost spot on. The key takeaway here, folks, going below 33,000 uh, uh, the second time. Oh, I can't tell you how bearish that is. If it does happen, it shouldn't. But if it does, well, it may someday. But you know, the faster it happens, the more bearish it would be. I wouldn't be expecting it to happen today, but it may or may not, uh, may or may not be happening. So those are just a few of the things that we're keeping an eye on here this morning, and hopefully we're going to have a special guest calling in here, maybe a little bit later here, from across the pond. Give me one second, folks. Is there a th in the in the nest a three a three drive in the uh, NQ? Uh, I, you know, I think there may be, but I, I'm, what I'm looking at with the NASDAQ, if you'll notice here, that this is from yesterday, and we went, we went a tiny, we went up and matched these highs yesterday, folks. So I really don't uh, see that uh, on any, I don't, I'd have to know the time frame, Terry, but I really don't. All I know is there's a lot of resistance at 14,200. That's, that's all I, that's all I knew. So I, I, I can't see a really clear, uh, a really clear three drive pattern you know those if you have to ask the question of whether it's a three drive or not it's not a three drive a three drive has to look so symmetrical that it just jumps out at you like a like a little uh, rattlesnake out here in the desert by the way we didn't have any uh the, the evidently the explosion scared the heck out of the of the mountain lion because he didn't come around today but uh the explosion uh, destroyed the do uh, destroyed the truck and a few other little things but there was no other problem but boy it sure shook everybody up that's for sure all right let's move on here to the question that someone's had and that is about mr appell who's down by the well let's get this up here because we're knocking on the door again boys and girls here we are with Appel. 
Apple trading at 30, 132.58. I just checked. That's where it was, 132.58. I don't know where it is now. Uh, we got to get above that 133 level, folks, for this to be a breakout. So it's going to be it. The explosion was caused by uh, some uh, painting stuff from a painter was doing it with his. And everybody that does any painting around here, all of these guys come up from Mexico to do the painting. And they do really great work. But sometimes they're they're not as careful as they should be. But uh, that's that's what had happened. Nobody was nobody was hurt, and so that's really good. All right, that's what we're watching now. I I posted that chart of the Dow Jones of how important that was, and I will tell you, nothing is any more important than that one that we had yesterday in the Russell, because the same thing happened in the Russell that happened in the Dow Jones. We went right down to the 61% retracement. And remember that Russell had been down nine days. The Dow Jones had been down 12 days. And now we're, now we're having a, three, a two or three day rally. So that's what we're paying attention to here, folks. I don't know whether it means a whole lot or not, but that's what we're paying attention to. So keep in mind that uh, it's not how much you make, it's how much you don't lose. And that's the key to what we're doing uh, right here. Now, on this particular next one, I wanted to bring it to your attention because we talked about it yesterday. This was early in the morning, Sunday, when we made that bottom. And I said there will be some support maybe at 41.57. But I want you to take your eyes, folks, and scroll all the way up to the top where it says 422.29. 4,229. The high so far has been 420, uh, 4231, I believe. That was the 78% retracement of the whole move from when we topped at 4260 several days ago. So if we get above that, and if we get above that, you're going to go a lot higher. So it's got to get above that to remain bullish, and it certainly could. There's no other, no other question about it. Uh, we really don't know what's going to happen next but you know what folks neither does anybody else any questions that you might have 877-927-6648 and we'll be happy to answer them and if i don't know the answer i'll make something up hold on here a second here what i was trying to do was to connect with john jameson over in the uk so that he could talk to us about uh, you know some of these things that are going on but whether or not that happens i missed it so we'll see all right any questions that you might have let me know because i have uh, i've worn myself out i do want to no sound gone again this cannot plug in the mic the mic is in hi hello 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 Hello, 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 hello. 10 4, 10 4, 10 4. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, you know, all of my frustrations in this business come from the darn computers. I tell you, they, they drive me absolutely up the wall. Tomorrow's guest will be Jeff Huge. He's always good, Alpha Insights. Friday, we have none other than Tommy Terrific, who guard will be on. And he has been jumping around quite a bit thank you for the information that i'm up and running i will not try to bring anybody else into it i left john the number and uh no tom uh i don't know if tom is back today or not i spoke with him at home last night but uh, i know he's coming on the show on friday at least he's planning on to unless the markets uh you know don't allow it so we'll see we'll have some wild stuff going on in here so let's double check hold on folks i'm getting a message here i want to double check this because i would love to have our boy on there and uh oh say mr uh well Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. 
Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe with a little luck that we are talking with John Jameson from the UK. John, are you there? I am, Larry. How are you doing? I'm living the dream, my friend. The question that I have for you is, what's going on with Bitcoin today? There seems to be a little bit of volatility happening. Yeah, why is that, amigo? I have no ah. idea. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a little bumpy out there, but, you know. Yeah. John, tell the folks, long term, uh, what, you, what you think is happening with these cryptocurrencies and blockchains. I mean, because you've been doing this for a very, very long time and have been talking about it and things that you've talked about have come true. So what is your assessment of what we're seeing right now in the market as, as we're talking here today on the 22nd of June? Okay, well, that requires a pretty big answer, but I'll give you a quick version. It depends on the time scale, and it depends on what you're looking at. Um, blockchains, cryptocurrencies, if you think of them as a, um, basically a solution looking for a problem to solve, I think that's probably the easiest way of thinking about them. And if you look at this from a longer term perspective, then whether it's going to be Bitcoin or whether it's going to be one of, one of the other altcoins that's going to end up being the market leader or the, the one that becomes the best known, uh, in the future, that you know, that's for fate to decide. So all you can do is put yourself in the way, and um, you know, you've got two choices: you can either trade it short term, I guess, or you can um, you can build a position for the long term. I choose okay. to do the latter. Yes, you are definitely a long term. I remember <laughs> we've been talking for so long. I remember when you were buying one of them for a penny, as I recall, and it, it went uh, quite a bit higher. Hey, we got a caller from Orlando, Florida, the home of Disneyland for for uh, John. And it is a question about the – are you on the line, John? Are you there? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. John, okay, you've got, you've got the other John on the line. So, John, John, uh, he has a question. Go ahead and ask John your question, John. Excellent. Uh, 
John, I wanted to ask you about the gold ounce, uh, whether it's time to get in a corrected a little bit from 1900. Are you, sorry, you're asking me a question about... I, about gold. Gold. Muscle, the gold. Yeah. The, the, about, yeah, the gold. About gold. Well, yes. if, you've been, if you've been reading um, the, the stuff that Larry puts out, I've been looking for a longer-term low in gold. Um, and, you know, you've got to follow what the market's what the market uh, feeds you back. And so basically on the current contract, if I get two daily closes over 19, basically 1910, I've got to change my mind and get along. Other than that, I'm going to look to get short in, over the short term. Okay. All right. So you, you're right now, as, as of right now, you're not really, uh, you're neutral. As of right now, I'd be, if, 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 you've got a, if you've got a clear pattern to the downside, you take it, you manage your risk and you take it. Um, that's what I'd be looking for. Other than that, if I want to get, if I, if I'm, if I want to, you know, gold's been, gold's been a little tricky over the last couple of months, as you probably know. Um, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at a slightly longer term perspective. I want to see where I can get a clear run where I think I've, there's, a, there's, there's a good, a good chunk of run to come in one direction. Then I can trade the patterns inside that trend. And for now, that tre- I'm looking to do that to the downside. Goes above 1910. I'm going to have to change my mind. How's that? I see. What about what about the seasonality of gold? Is this the summer? Is it good time or uh, is that bad time? The seasonality. Uh, personally, of I don't gold? Use, I, personally, in gold, I don't use seasonality. Oh, okay. All right. I just, I'm just, I, all, right. all I do is I'm looking at the active contracts, but I don't use seasonality in gold. I do okay. in the stock market, right. but Thank not in gold. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for calling in, John. I appreciate it. Uh, John, we have a question about your uh, your background. I mean, I, I don't think you've worked for anybody for 25 or 30 years. You've always been for yourself, haven't you? That's right, Larry. I'm the great unemployable. Um, yeah, I <laughs> I um, I've run my own show for for uh, since the late 1980s. Mr. Pasavento, are you there? Yeah, can you hear me, John? I can, Larry. Are you back online? Yeah, yeah, but I don't know whether I'm in the room yet or not. There's all kinds of technical problems over there, buddy. You did. You're doing a great job. I would love seeing you in here, but I, I get so frustrated with this technical stuff, John. I tell you, it just uh, I don't know what happened. Many- I mean, I was just I wasn't I didn't have my hand on anything. I mean, it just uh, it just flat out stopped. <laughs> don't worry, mate. Stay stay I- with us here. Stay with us. We might be able to. I'm I- getting back now. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, John. Say. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm here, mate. Anyway, what do you, do you want to say anything more? Or is that it? Um, well, if you want to talk about crypto, for sure. Okay. But um, you know, we, well, it depends on what you want to do. All right. You, let me let me you check here. Me for, uh, Keep him out. Are GFN you in the market just said, for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hopefully we've got this uh, changed up. Uh, John, are you there? I am here, Larry, yes. Ah, God bless the technical. We have a caller from Texas. Uh, Al is calling from Texas. I don't. Are you there, Al? Yes, I am. Al, this is John doing? Jameson. Yes, sir. So How you doing, John? Larry, yeehaw, good. This is Al All Torres right. from Houston, Texas. John, he's got a question for you, so go ahead, Al. Go ahead, hey, Al. John. Um, I've I listen, I've heard about you whoo, way back around 2018 uh, when you guys were talking or mentioned something about Cardano and Bitcoin, and um, I know there's a lot of a lot of changes happening with with uh, blockchain. Uh, if you can maybe give give us a little bit more about what that technology is going to do forthcoming. And also, one, one second question is Bitcoin, we're talking about an 80% correction. And I think last time we had our fourth correction, it was like almost 85. So if we can touch on those two things, those, that would be great. Okay, Al. What I'll do first is what you, those two questions, if we, do, if, we took, if we went down into the rabbit hole, we'd be here for a while. So let me just give you a, a, mm -hmm. a, a more useful trader perspective of it. First of all, re-Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin, as you know, as you just mentioned, has had several 80% drops. So what's going on this year? Well, in the UK, uh, in I, I believe it's November, the COP26 summit on climate change is taking place. As we know, Bitcoin is energy intensive, uses more electricity than Norway. We've all heard that story. And that's the story that you're hearing on the media, if you're hearing about cryptocurrencies at all, it's almost always on Bitcoin. What you're not hearing is the other side of the equation. What you're not hearing is the biggest news going on in crypto this summer, which is the transition of Ethereum from proof of work to proof of stake. That's effectively transitioning from a mining model for network validation to a rental model where you actually, you know, stake up your Ether for a return to run the network. So you're not hearing that story at all. And that asymmetric news tells you quite, gives you quite important information about longer term prices down the road. So right now, the big problem with Bitcoin at this low is there isn't enough fear. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, we just had a false break low or yet to be proved to be a false break low. but We've had a flush down low. Obvious, obvious, probably a rally for three, three to five days. And then if it rolls, you can expect a big flush down. And what you're looking for is maximum fear. And that big flush down will take you down to your 80% drop. Does that answer that for you? Yes, it does. Yeah. So, hello, you were talking about okay. the tech. That was, what else did you want? To, you were talking about the, you, you wanted to know something about the uh, the, the technology and, and the problems it's solving? 
Yes, the blockchain, and uh, I've been I've, I've purchased uh, Cardano back in April of 2018, and I've just been following it, and now just more info. It just sounds like uh, just um, just from a lot of folks, uh, it's really impact. It could have a huge impact, and uh, if we can, you know, give us more insight on that, that would be awesome. Well, Cardano project is. As Charles Hoskinson has said, is not going to be fully finished until at least 2000, at least till 2025. So what you should be focusing on this summer are what Cardano is doing in Ethiopia, what it's doing in Africa. You also should be looking at um, the Alonzo um, development, which is basically the rolling out of smart contracts on Cardano, which is still in the development phase. I think it's in the white phase right now. It's going to go live, or they're planning on it going live July, August. And that's going to be a big deal. So um, you're, going to, you're going to need to, to look at that in the short, in, over the short term and see how the market reacts to, those, to that news. But it, with, with cryptocurrencies, as you well know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano make up 75% of the entire cryptocurrency market. And when they get flushed down, they go down. So yeah. um, what you're looking for, the reason, the reason that you could buy Cardano at pennies on the dollar is because of the potential that it has. But quite soon, it's going to have to start earning its keep. It's going to have to start being able to actually do something in the real world. And so whether that's in distributed finance remains to be seen. So the mm -hmm. first stage of this is getting those smart contracts running and working. Yeah. Cardano's advantage, as you probably know, is that it's fully, it's probably the most decentralized cryptocurrency, and it's been self-validating its network for several months now without any propping up from the parent company, Emergo. So if that helps, that's about all I can cover on this, on the, on this, on this little segment. I hope that helps. No, yeah, yeah. It's uh, I've been following it. I've been keeping up with the technology. Since I'm in real estate, uh, that was a big topic in a panel that I was invited for. And I tried to explain to folks um, the importance of uh, cryptocurrency uh, affecting uh, the markets. And, uh, you know, supposedly it's already going into uh, title companies. And some people are already buying, uh, purchasing houses with the with uh, cryptocurrency. So I tell them, look, folks, it's, it's, we, we need to adapt. There's a lot of undercurrent things that we're not being exposed to, but uh, we're, we're going into a, a change that's going to affect everything we do forthcoming with crypto. Uh, and, I mean, I, so... Um, and well, that, it's, that's it's, looking at it from a perspective. With the best respect, Al, that's looking at someone who's holding Bitcoin. You want to be maybe holding, excuse me, Cardano or Ethereum or Bitcoin. You want to flip that and have a look at it from the yeah. establishment's point of view and realize the pushback that this dis disruption is giving and, to, and to, to not only that but to expect it and so with a lot of the stuff that i do is take simple variables and, and feed that back into some sort of indicator and i don't mean indicator that i stick on a chart i mean uh, a guide for the future and um you know rough back of the envelope math simple complexity theory so if you think of it you know if you flick five heads in a row, um, you know, how often should that happen? And get, so what you do is you start off with a hypothesis or an idea, and you say, given the information that you're seeing, is that idea, does that, how do I prove that idea false? And that is a very useful way of doing rough back of the, back of the you know, back of the envelope math without the math on, yeah. you know, to figuring out these technologies because... You, you know, it's the Wild West. You, you know, you, you see these huge drops, and most people yes. who are trying to trade this with leverage are getting killed. Um, so I'm not going to tell you the best way or, the, or, or, or not, but my particular uh, situation is I hold a core. So I build core, and I build those cores around fear. And right now there isn't enough fear. When I see fear, you do something. Is that good for you, Al? That works. Perfect. 
I appreciate well, it, guys. Blood in the streets. We want blood in the streets. Yeehaw. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks for calling right. in. We appreciate it, Al, very, very much. It's very great coming in. And we've got someone from the U.K. Mr. Mo is on the line. Mo, how are you? Oh, well, he, he dropped already. Sorry. Anyway, that was it. Hey, John, I know you're real busy today, so I want to thank you for coming and joining us. And uh, i got so many questions here for you, but uh, we'll have you on again soon if you don't mind. And be safe over there. Have you had any days of summer yet in the U.K., or is it still uh, rainy well, all the time? Well, funnily enough, Larry, today is, from where I am particularly, the first day of summer. I've broken out the shorts and the flip-flops, so it's summer. <laughs> <laughs> has has the ice melted? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. All right, folks. Okay, talk folks, to you. Thank, yeah, thank you very much uh, for calling in, John. Appreciate it. Folks, you do, uh, John and I have been, uh, he became a student in 04, I think, and we became, we've been friends ever since. He was in Perth for a while and uh he is uh, he really works really hard at this but he's uh he's a self he he's he's like Muhammad Ali he's not he never brags because he just does it so it's uh, it's fun to uh, chat with him but he is very very uh intuitive on these markets and his specialty of course is you know he knows crypto really well but he, what he does at options is just really amazing i mean he does some of the most amazing option things that i've ever been exposed to let's just uh, we got the show coming up here uh for a last little break here in a little bit but if you remember this folks if nothing else when we go if if i don't know it's not a question of when it's if or not <laughs> let's try it again larry it's not a question of if it's a question of when we go below thirty-three thousand again thirty-three thousand is going to set up a really really negative situation the dow's been down 11 out of 12 days we had the big rally here starting sunday night we're into now, we're into Tuesday, uh, probably a little bit today, tomorrow, and we should get no more than a three-day rally, and then we should start down again if that is going to be the case. Now, things always change, and they never are doing the same thing, so if we just keep our eyes on the ball, I think we'll be, I think we'll be just fine to look at it. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648, and I'll be happy to answer them uh, for you, uh, someone's asked a question about John's educational. He was he was uh, from the UK, folks. He went to one of those fancy schools over there, and uh, he his 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 math his uh, uh, mathematics and uh, literature. Um, oh God, does he know literature? And he knows art like unbelievable. He even knows the difference between the Elvis paintings that move across as his eyes move across the the one with the, the glassy eyes and the real original ones that come out of uh, Nogales, Mexico. He even knows all of those. We joke about that all the time. All right, let's take a look at what the possibility of a long-term move in gold, folks. We had the bottom at 1762 last Friday. We've not been any higher than 92. We rallied $27. That's really close to the harmonic number. And uh, unless we get above that $1,800 level in gold, I still think we're probably going to be nibbling at the bottom somewhere between 1767 and somewhere near 1730. That would be the two areas that I'm looking at. I think silver and platinum have already bottomed, but I think gold might have one more push to the downside. We'll know that if it gets above 1800 then we'll say the bottom is in in gold and we'll be looking for a, a long position but right now i have to go along with john here and we'll be able to see that we're looking at something that could still be uh, heading to the downside but that's still early in the game and we'll have to do that as we go through here i think we have a message coming up here uh, I'm not sure because the, 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 the programming's got a little messed up because of the problems that we had. But if not, I'll just keep keep chatting. About the hog market, folks, uh, hogs are down again today, but not as much as, as, as anticipated. So we'll see uh, whether the grains are trying to find a bottom in here. And also then there's a possibility that all this stuff is top, folks, that all this stuff about the commodities and, and stuff is really uh, in the thing. Oh, I do have to cover one, and that is the copper shut the front door and raise the rent where is the copper oh i've lost the copper oh, that's the bad part anyway pay very very close attention folks to 428 in july copper that is a 382 of the whole move down and it's also a 61 percent retracement and it's also an a b c d at that point that's the trifecta of trading folks watch the copper because it's going to be really interesting i'll post that uh, 
uh, probably tomorrow when I do the show. And remember, Jeff Huge from Alpha Insights will be our guest on Wednesday. Thursday, uh, we here have open. I have someone coming in, but I'm not sure whether they're going to make it or not. And then Friday, we have Tommy Terrific, Tom Hugard will be uh, in the house, and uh, that'll be always a, a good one to uh, pay close attention to. So these are just a few that we're looking at here this morning. And uh, another question, nope, I think that's about it. We've got it pretty much covered. Yeah, uh, we're, we're at some major major support here in the silver, for sure. That's uh, one of the things that we are looking at. It. That's uh, no question about that. The other one you got to pay attention, folks. I know everybody doesn't believe it or not, but you got to pay attention to this crude oil. We've went up, made three highs in a row, and didn't go anywhere. That, that's not a very good sign, you know, looking at that. So we'll be right back. 877 927 